Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can clean up your desktop and keep it organized and get all the clutter away and just have a very nice and clean desktop. So there's a couple things that you can do. First of all, I do already have a very minimalistic desktop as it is, uh, but there's some things you can do to make it even better, especially if you normally keep a lot of files on your desktop and have it all cluttered up. So first of all, one of my favorite things to do is to hide my dock, and I know it might seem obvious, but uh, you'd be surprised by how much uh, desktop space you regain by just hiding your dock. And you can achieve that by just right clicking on the separator and turn hiding on or off. And that really saves a lot of space in your desktop and you'll find after maybe a couple days of use that you don't really need the dock always there at the bottom. Another thing you can do if your menu bar is looking cluttered, you can actually get rid of icons in it. So say for example I have Time Machine here and I don't really have a Time Machine disconnected right now. So if I hold down the command key on my keyboard and I just click and drag Time Machine icon right off and it'll disappear in a puff of smoke and it's gone. Now you can't do this with everything that's in your menu bar uh, but a good amount of it you can. For example a lot of third party applications won't let you drag their icon off the menu bar uh, but it does work for a lot of the default items you might see in your menu bar. Another cool tip is to change some of your view options. So let's say you have a lot of files on your desktop, which isn't a good thing to do in the first place. You should really clean up your files on your desktop. Uh, but if, say you do have some files on your desktop. If you just right click and then select show view options, you're going to get this little viewer. And by default in OS X, the icon size is rather large, which I mean, it looks nice, but it gets cluttered very fast. So if you actually just turn down the icon size to, I don't know, a smaller size, maybe 56 by 56, you can save a lot of desktop space and everything ends up looking more minimalistic. You can also turn down the grid spacing and that makes everything a little bit, you know, squished together a little bit more and you can fit a lot more in a smaller space in your desktop, making everything just look nicer. And also just another handy tip that you might not have known, uh, if you do right click and then go under clean up by, there's a lot of different things you can clean up your icons by, so if you have a lot of messy files all over your desktop, uh, you can, you know, clean them up by the size or whatever, and it organizes them based on that. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is probably the best tip, and it's a very handy thing if you're like me. Uh, what I've done in the past is I've had a singular folder on my desktop, you can just see it's named it Dash, you know, something that's very unobtrusive, and in there I just put all the folders I would normally put on my desktop and all the files and everything that I'm currently working with. And it helps speed up your machine because you don't have all the icons in your desktop that have to render every time you start up. But if you want to get rid of this folder altogether and keep it invisible on your desktop, what you can do is first of all create a new folder. And you're going to name this folder nothing. So just hit backspace and then hit space a couple times. And the folder will be named nothing. So you can see it has no title. Now I'm going to show you how you can make the folder's icon invisible so it won't be there messing up your desktop. So if you go to Google, and you search something like transparent PNG uh, in Google Images, it'll be fairly easy to find a transparent image, like this one right here. So I can just drag this transparent image to my desktop, and you can see here it's completely transparent, and when I open it with something like Preview, you can see there is nothing there. So with this transparent PNG, you're just going to want to open it up in Preview, and you can see there's nothing here, it's completely transparent. And from here you're going to want to just, on your keyboard, hit Command A. This will select the image. In this case it just looks like a border because there's really nothing there. And now you're going to want to hit Command C. This just copies it. And then you can get rid of Preview. Now select your folder here that you're going to want to make invisible. And then right click on that and hit Get Info. Then if you go up here and you select the folder, the folder's icon right here, uh, you'll see that it gives this, this little blue outline. It tells you it's selected. All you have to do is hit Command V, and it'll paste the transparent image there, uh, therefore changing the folder's icon and essentially making the folder invisible on your desktop. So you can see I can't see it at all. So now with this invisible folder on your desktop, uh, you can see I can still open it up, and the only way to move it around or anything is to actually drag it by its invisible file name, and you can place any files that you want inside of it, and they all stay there, stay there invisible. Now, your best course of action is to just kind of move this somewhere where you know where it'll be, 
like the corner of my desktop, for example, so that when you want to access it, you can just select it and open it up, and then you'll have access to all the files you've put in it. Now, if by chance you lose this folder, what you can just do is hit Command A when you're on your desktop, and everything will get selected, and you'll be able to see exactly where it is. Uh, but it's kind of neat that you can have all your files just kind of buried uh, on your desktop without anybody seeing them being there, and makes your desktop look very minimalistic. And when I have the window open, you can see there is no title to the window and no icon there. You can see the, the folder is pretty much just gone, uh, but all your files are still there. And they're not like hidden files. They're just normal files in a invisible folder. So those are some tips on how you can clean up your desktop and make it more organized and more minimalistic. If you have anything you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thanks for watching. Oh, my God.